morning good morning happy monday i actually have to go back in the office today we're going back to the office two days in a row i have not done in about a year in a little over a year i think it's been so <laughs> it's been a while this is a little a little different however i need to head back into the office because i do have an investigation to do um as you guys know, of course, I am in human resources and investigations are a part of the job. So um, if there is something that comes up that needs to be investigated in my client groups, that falls on me. So um, I like to do investigations in person. I feel like, I don't know, a Zoom investigation just, not gonna say it wouldn't go well because I'm quite sure it could because that's how they've, um, been done for the last year however I just feel like when you can sit in front of the person and kind of see how they look and you know if they're fidgeting and stuff like that I just feel like it helps with the um, with the investigation and help you get an accurate read on who it is you're investigating so that is sorry sir I didn't mean to go so slow and jump out there but that's what we're doing today and I haven't had a chance to eat breakfast this morning I actually got up and I filmed a video this morning so the Sun is like super crazy but I actually got up I filmed the video this morning which was really good and because um, I needed to get that done and um, I had to drop the girls back off at school or drop the girls off at school and then I got in the car and now I'm headed out to work you guys yesterday was such an exciting day for me um, if you follow me on Instagram then you would have seen me talk about this on Instagram but I did film the book yesterday I finished filming the entire book and I'm so excited about it I just need to edit them and we'll edit the videos and put it together but I'm so excited about that because I don't know and I was so nervous filming it like you would think that I don't have a YouTube channel and don't film stuff all the time like every day but I was so nervous filming it and I think it's just because that's like my baby it's my brainchild you know and I'm sitting here filming and I'm like I can't believe I just did that and I was only gonna film half the book and I was gonna film the other half on Tuesday I am totally speeding and I'm about to get pulled over fuck maybe he's just sitting there I think he's just sitting there Oh, thank the Lord. Um, but yeah, so that, that's my brainchild. I'm gonna show that cop it. Cut me, he ain't moving. But yeah, that's my brainchild, that's my baby. And I finished it yesterday and I'm so excited. Now the groundwork just needs to be done. The book comes out in 10 days, 10 days. So very short time frame for me to get this turnaround, but obviously I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be ready on April 1st. By the time you guys watch this, April 1st, yeah, it'll be past April 1st, so um, I hope you guys enjoy it. I really hope you guys love it and take a lot from it because I've worked so hard on it and I'm so proud of it and yeah, I just hope, I hope it resonates with you guys. So anyway, that is that, but yeah, I'm just about to zone out, listen to some music, I'm gonna head to work and then I will talk to you guys when I get there. days come back to me you know and I, I just think about it I'd be like man if I was like 20 and Cardi B was a thing like I don't know like it would have probably increased my ratchet who knows I don't know <laughs> I'm trying to like I don't know I'm trying to zone out getting a good headspace I have therapy in 30 minutes and I'm gonna do it virtually today I like going into the office for therapy I don't want to do virtual therapy and I'm going to try not to make a habit of it however since coming back from vacation I am still playing catch up I still have a lot of things like on my plate for work and so their um, virtual therapy was just the best thing for me this morning so I'm going to do that I'm trying to be very consistent on my therapy appointments um, I don't know I know I told you guys yes I have I go every other week and I find that when I don't go 
I just don't feel, I don't know. I don't feel as good. I don't feel, something just feels off. Like I feel like it's nice to just get all that out and vent. I have so much going on right now. There's so many thoughts swirling around in my head and having someone to vent to is just, it's so helpful. It is so helpful. Like I love going to therapy and I feel like there is still, I feel like it's more mainstream now, but there is still such a stigma with going to therapy and it's like, no ma'am like I need to have my head right like in order for me to be good for everyone else I need to have my head right you know what I'm saying and again just getting those thoughts out and venting to an impartial third party is so helpful somebody who's not gonna judge you for your choices not gonna judge you for your thoughts I don't know maybe they are judging you but they don't let you know they're judging you <laughs> So um, that's like, it is the most helpful thing. If you have been thinking about going to therapy, if you just feel like you need to talk to someone, um, mental your mental health is very, very, very important. I will be quick to take a day off of work. Not, okay, not that quick. Mark would be like, use the line. But <laughs> I, I feel like if, if I'm truly not right, like I will definitely take a day and be like, you know and, and and clear my calendar and and try to take it easy and try not to talk to someone like even if I'm answering emails I would definitely try to clear my calendar for the day and and really just just focus on my mental health because man things can get to you and they pile up so quick and you like before you know it you going crazy you know what I'm saying like things pile up so fast when you have so much on your plate it just it'll it'll get to you very quickly and you won't even know what hit you until you're having a breakdown and then you're wondering why you're yelling at everybody or wondering why you're acting like this and it's because you haven't taken care of your own self mentally that's what I've learned and that's what that's what really keeps me going like honestly that's what really really keeps me going I'm trying to do too much y'all i've been eating so bad since we've been on vacation so again it's the monday after vacation and i'm done with all of that mess i'm done with eating bad i'm done with everything so i have my water bottle with me because i'm gonna fill this up a million times today and try to get a gallon of water in you guys know this is my coldest water bottle i've been talking to y'all about that water bottle like forever i have a discount code down below they have a weekly get on the freeway oh my god i have a discount code down below they have a weekly giveaway um that they do on their page every single or that they do on their website every single week where you could win one of their water bottles but um i'll make sure all of that is linked down below but the water bottles are phenomenal your water will stay cold i kid you not for 30 plus hours it is amazing it comes in all types of colors all types of sizes i have a 21 ounce i think they have a 32 like a 64 a gallon it's crazy like it's there i mean their stuff is so good and so well made and this handle is everything so check them out, link is down below. Y'all already know. Anyway, I'm almost at work. And then I'll settle in and then hop on to my therapy appointment. like at first I think that was our problem because I'm when I met him I was 21 and I was in college and so it was like it was a different it was just a different time like I didn't have a job so nothing was stressing me out I was in college I could come and go as I please I didn't have bills my parents were paying all my bills I was I like, yeah I mean I had like <laughs> All right, y'all. So I just got off my therapy session. And as I said, it was so nice and refreshing to talk to her. I love my therapist. She's a black woman. And I just, 
I, I don't know. I feel like just having someone listen like that is exactly what I need. Okay, so I'm getting ready to do some work here, um, but it's time for me to make my weekly to-do list. I have shown you guys this little notepad before. I've been looking for this everywhere. I don't see it anymore. This is by, this is by Erin Condren, y'all. I think I've been telling y'all this is about a happy planner and I've been linking something similar because I didn't see it. But this is actually Erin Condren. Go figure. So if Erin Condren still has this, I will make sure to link this. But I love this little notepad. I've linked, again, something similar. And I've shown you guys it has different days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then the weekend for you to put your to-dos. And then it has this just master list over here for the week. So I fill up the master list and then I move things day by day to the different days for work. And it's very helpful. It keeps me on task. Make sure all my weekly to-do are done and it's just super helpful now like I said I do have this investigation to do today that is at one o'clock it's now 11 so I am debating if I should go out and get something to eat or no nah. I think I should I think I'm gonna run and grab something to eat around 12 and then I'll be back at 1 for the investigation so Let's do some work and then I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Oh, hey guys. So we are headed out to lunch. I don't know what I'm about to get. I want to do something healthy, but then again, I kind of want to go to Popeyes and get a chicken sandwich. I don't, I'm trying here, but I kind of want to go to Popeyes because that's like not healthy, but it's so good, right? So I don't know what I'm about to eat. I just need to go find something. I have to be back within the hour because I do have, an, like I keep telling you guys, an investigation to conduct the entire reason I'm here. And so I need to go find something quick and come back. Who has a good salad around here? That's what I need. It's a really nice, good salad, you guys. I just want to continue on with my... Um, health and fitness journey I feel like it's really hard to get back on it when you've been eating trash for two weeks like I've seriously been eating trash for two weeks so it's really hard to change my mindset and get my mindset back where it needs to be so I can eat right because I mean I've been loving the trash that I've been eating it's been so good you know I haven't eaten like that in quite some time I mean I y'all know I have my my times where it's just like okay I'm gonna do what I want to do y'all know that um and I I try not to deprive myself I try to just eat in portions however it's still really tough like I, I've been not eating in portions I've been eating whatever I want and so it's really tough to just really get my mind back to the place that it needs to be and so that is what I'm working on and I feel like if I eat trash today that's gonna just make my week kind of eh, be like a little downturn so like how am I gonna mess up on the first meal I eat you know what I'm saying I had my coffee this morning and that's all I've eaten so far and it's 12 o'clock and it's like well how am I gonna mess up the first time I get a chance to eat something like I can't I can't be good the first time I get a chance to eat something you know and that's how I've been kind of talking to myself like girl you better than that like you can't do you can't you cannot mess up the, the at the first chance you get so I'm gonna look for a salad somewhere I'm gonna have to really stay focused and keep my my eyes on the prize and not look at Popeyes at all so that's what we're gonna work on and I need to figure out who is going to get me a good salad and quickly so I can get back and get some work done all right so I'm back in the car and I went to I was good I went to this place if you're in the Cleveland area this place called Fawaki Burst and it is a vegan place but I mean they have like if you want like chicken and stuff they do have like chicken and stuff and oh by the way I'm utilizing my new wallet if you guys didn't watch or if they haven't come out yet the Cancun vlogs I got this cute little YSL wallet in Cancun and I'm using it I love it y'all yes. anyway <laughs> um and it's called Fawaki Burst in the Cleveland area. And I ended up getting this Chipotle Ranch 
um, wrap and it has chicken, cheese, tomatoes, spinach, um, chicken, cheese, tomatoes, spinach. I forgot what else is in it. But it sounded, oh, and Chipotle Ranch, of course. But it sounded really, really, really good. So let's just. I just spilled it. Darn it. Oh, it's good though. Damn. That's why I hate wearing a white shirt. It's good though. That one little bite was good. But it's getting late. It's 12.34. And my meeting starts at 1. So I'm probably going to eat this after my meeting. And I'm just going to have the shake or the smoothie. So I also got a smoothie. And this is a... It's called the King's Hawaiian. And it has pineapple, mangoes, and strawberries in it. It's so good. Mm. So I'll probably finish this wrap later. But that one bite was actually really 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 good I look like a savage all right back to the office we go today was an absolute shit show like it was just it all went downhill after lunch you know it was just an absolute shit show i'm so happy the day is over today was so long and i am ready to <laughs> just get home like i don't know you ever wish like you could say something like i just wish i could tell you guys about the day i had and what happened Oh, so y'all can hear the fuckery that I deal with sometimes. But anyway, work is over. No more talking about that. I am actually headed home. Well, headed to grab the baby. And then I'm going to grab the girls from school and um, get home, cook dinner, all that stuff. Today was actually a really productive day. I need to start making time to come into the office like once or twice a week i really do i'm always like i say that all the time but then i get so comfortable and so used to working from home but i just feel so productive when i'm in the office it's it's nice and i just i don't know getting out of the house getting into a different scenery is very helpful that's why i was so happy about the working from home from time to time because being in the office five days a week isn't that productive either like it's really nice just to get out and get different scenery when you're working like even when we were remember when we were in between houses and you know what that was the vlog channel but we were like in between houses living with my parents after we had to move out of our old house before the new house was ready um i was going to work at starbucks and i did that like four or five days and it was just super helpful to be able to work out of Starbucks. It was just a different scenery. I sat there all day and it was it was a good time. It was what I needed. Yeah, yeah. And I need to do that every now and then. Like while we're still basically full time working from home, I need to definitely do that every now and then and work from different spaces, whether it be from Starbucks, whether it be like coming back into the office or whatever. I need to like it, it just helps when I'm not working from the same space. How are you getting, where, how are you going right? That don't make sense. But yeah, it, it, it just really helps when I'm not working from the same space. I just realized I've been so busy. I didn't even call Mark today, y'all. I absolutely did not. He gonna be like, half a, you might call me today. What's up, man? Hey, you busy? Yeah. I just, so, real, I just realized I hadn't talked to you today. I've had the day from hell. Whew, y'all. All right, I just got finished talking to Mark. I need a glass of wine after today. I swear I do. <laughs> a glass of wine after today, y'all. Oh, goodness gracious. 
anyway i i am pulling up to grab the baby i think i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog right here i hope you guys enjoyed my day in the life and if you guys like these videos don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up it really helps my channel out when you do that i would really appreciate it thank you guys so much and i'll see you in the next video bye guys